we're going to go from this. To this. All right, I'm Christopher Jones, and what you've done is you found video three of a three video set. I am author of Bumblebee Loops, also clarinetnow.com, and this is a little excerpt from my Bumblebee Loops book. It's at the bottom of page four or more extensive on page eight. So in the first video, I explained some left-hand clarinet position as it pertains to this particular loop. On video two, we take this loop in eighth notes, but the, the metronome is starting at 100 and we notch it all the way up to 200. Then I bump the metronome back down for this video to 100 um, and we're playing in 16th. So what we're gonna do right now is play in 16th at 100 and you're gonna go follow me all the way up to 200. If you found this video first, you need to look at video one. That's more important even than video two. All right, so you can get the proper hand position business. All right, so let's start this loop. <clears throat> we have, we're at 100, and the quarter note is a 100, but we're playing the loop in sixteenths. I will count off one, two, rest, rest. We play one, two. <laughs> When I move the metronome up, you need to put the clarinet on your knee or you need to put it on the stand chair between your legs there, right there, just to hold it so that your hands are off the instrument for a little tiny break. We're at out 108. One, two. <laughs> to 120. It's probably my biggest bump. We really should stop at 112 and 116, but I want to make a two hour long video, all right? Here we go. One, two. Again, one, two. All right, thanks for hanging with me. Bumping it up to 132. Take a little rest. Here we go. One, two. Again. One, two. All right, now, so we're actually just going through the loop once on each of these occasions. What I'm going to do the first time around, I'm going to play it once, and then the second time around on the metronome marking, I'm going to play it twice. So just go with me on that. We're at 144. One, two. Again, we're going to play it twice. One, two. Okay, if you're going off the rails, if you can't keep up with me, it's no big deal, it's all right. You're not gonna get to 200 in one day if you've just started this process, all right? It's gonna take some time. So if, let's say this is where you did get off the rails at 144, then you need to bump it back to 132 and let that be your practice tempo for a couple weeks, maybe a couple months. We are now at 160. One, two. Again, twice. One, two. Let's do it again. One, two. All right. Take your rest. Don't just play through it while I'm I'm bumping this up. Take take a good rest. One seventy six. 
One, two. And I'll say I even felt myself getting off the rails a little bit there. So apologize for that. Let's try it again. One, two. And again. One, two. Okay, and what I mean by getting off the rails is this, that your fingers can't keep up, you're maybe starting to do even worse habits like your fingers are flying high, or for some reason when we want to go faster we want to get bigger, but we should actually get smaller as far as our hand position and technique. Okay, we're at 184. moment. I have to kind of give myself a little metronome silence, right? Let's try it again. One, two. Again. One, two. We're going to do it again. One, two. Okay, and now we're at Getting to our goal tempo of 200. All right. Congratulations if you've made this uh, in one of two ways. One, playing it. That's awesome. Number two, if you're just watching it, uh, awesome for you. It means you have some persistence and that you can make this happen. Our goal tempo of 200 right now. One, two. <laughs> basically Bumblebee a little bit ahead of that excerpt and a little bit after all right so now I'm asking you to take this little tiny excerpt this little tiny Bumblebee excerpt which is basically all the chromatic scale to improve your left hand clarinet position all right and to be able to take a technical passage and make it really smooth and equal technically now so that's technically what does that mean musically if it's smooth and even and beautiful, then it's musical, all right? And that's the goal of this whole business. There's so much con controversy versus, you know, technique versus musicality. You can be technical but boring, or you can be musical and bumpy, all right? So we're trying to get in, in the middle there where you're technically accurate but musically beautiful. Again, the clarinet... Now is my website, Bumblebee Loops is my book. You can go to Amazon.com and get a hard copy book, or you can go to the Kindle version and get it this very second with your fingertips. Of course, they're fast fingertips now, so you can do it even faster. Um, but come visit me on clarinetnow.com, on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube. And if you watched this video but didn't have your clarinet, Go get your clarinet now and practice this.